Hello again, welcome back. So, I know we said we'd do the shop this time, but uh, I don't want to keep y'all waiting on the traps. I'm sure y'all waiting on that one too, so let's go ahead and do that. So, the first thing I need to do is I need to go into my spell info data table and make sure that I got these traveling. Yes. Okay, so they have a speed already. And I'm gonna just, I'm gonna turn their gravity down a bit so about point one and then I'm gonna I'm gonna close all these tabs real quick then I'm gonna open up my fire trap spell and I'm gonna set its particle system real quick so since it's a fire trap I'm gonna use the fireball again Compile that. Now we need to go into our base spell class. That, what is this? Oh, this is a construction term. In the event graph, we want to get rid of the event tick and they begin play. And we're going to use this actor begin overlap. So we want to find out if the other actor that this actor is overlapping has a tag. Because we're going to throw this onto the player and her weapons so that there will never be any instances to where it hits her. So the tag I'm going to use is player so if this actor has the tag of player we don't want it to do anything. Otherwise we want to create a custom event called hit oh hit exclamation point and then I'll call that right off the false so that if if the actor it hits doesn't have that tag then it'll fire this off I'm doing it this way because this will give us you can either do a custom event or a function but I'm gonna just do it this way so now if I go into my event graph on my fire trap I can actually call that hit function event event hit Target is base spell, target is base spell. I'm gonna call the event. Event hit. Yeah, there it is. So if it hits something and registers the hit, then we want to spawn actor from class. Now for the fire trap, we don't have anything set up yet because these are the ones that'll be cast out and then we need other ones that'll be spawned in their place. So I'm going to create a blueprint class of an actor called base trap underscore BP. And then just like the base spell, we want to set this one up with a particle system, which will be spell. Then we'll add. Let's see, uh, sphere collision. Let's see, I'm going to set this to something big like 150. And just to test thing, let me see what that fire tornado looks like in here. Fireball, firestorm. That's looking pretty good, pretty good. So now in the event graph, on begin play, I'm going to set a delay for 10 seconds just for now, and then just destroy actor. Maybe five for testing purposes. Compile that, drop it down, and did I ever set it up to where I could get my traps? Blueprint failed to compile fire trap. Oh right, right, right. We need so back in the fire trap, we actually need to call that um fire oh, I'm just gonna call the base trap for now. And then spawn transform we will get actor transform. Plug that in. And then we want to destroy the actor. We don't want to hook that up because we want it to destroy this actor because we're replacing it with this one. So I'm going to compile that. 
Now it's probably going to be floating just to let you know, but I'm just testing to see to make sure it's actually going to spawn the way it's supposed to. Hmm. Okay, so we don't have... I need to go in and add my ability to learn the fire trap spell. So I'm going to control C, control V, and add to this real quick. Fire trap, ice trap, thunder trap. So from shield wall, I want to do that. Fire trap, that. Ice trap, that. And from thunder trap, just to there. All right. Sorry, I should have had this done already. Alright, now I should be able to learn those spells. There it is. So now I'm a fire trap. Done. Let me pick up my weapon. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay. I probably don't have enough mana. I was like, why ain't it casting? What did I do wrong? Infinite loop detected. Destroy actor. Now let's see why that's doing that. Event hit. Destroy. Hmm. In the interaction system in our base interactable, let's add the... Oh, 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 because I'm stupid. All right, player, the tag. So in the player blueprint, highlight the player BP self, and we'll add that tag of player. Duh. Ugh. All right, now let's try it one more time. Let me pick up my mana. Pick up a weapon. That's a potion. That can grab me a weapon. All right, equip that bad boy. Learn my spell. There it is. All right, and then I can cast it. Infinite loop detected. Destroy actor. Why is it an infinite loop? I should just do it once. Okay, well what we'll do here is uh, in the base interactable, not in the base interactable, in the base spell of the begin overlap of the false we'll just hit a do once in between so we'll compile that and that should should take care of it but let's just find out Whoa. Oh, because of the weapons. All right, so yeah, now in the base interactable, we need to add the tag. But at least it spawned. So base interactable, we want to add a tag. And this will have the tag of player. That way it doesn't spawn on our shield or our, you know, um, weapons and stuff. So I'm going to drag out. Let's see. Now we need a test mannequin. Okay, so in the character's blueprint, I'm going to right-click and create a blueprint class of a character called training. D Wait, we have training dummies, don't we? Uh, training dummy BP. I'm going to open this up, and under the mesh, I'm just going to go to the mannequin and drop him down, just like that. I'm going to set it at negative 90 because I think that gets him right at the ground level negative 88 basically whatever your capsule radius is yeah negative 88 so you just negative negative it and then there it says so I'm just gonna set him way over here and then now that should give us Oh, I got a bow this time, so. 
That'd be good enough. And then it destroys. Cool. Alright, so one thing that you'll notice is it, um, it was floating. So on the base trap, what we want to do on begin play, whoa, is we want to do a line trace by channel. What we want to do is we want to get actor location and plug that into the start. And then from the return value off the actor location, we're going to subtract. And I'm going to say subtract 300 just to give us a good you know, portion. And then we're going to check to see it block the visibility. So I'm just going to put for the duration at the moment. So once we do our line trace, we want to break the hit result add a branch to see if there was a blocking hit which is this red right here true if there was a hit and then if there is then we want to set the actor location to the location of the hit that will be right on the ground so let me grab everything real quick I was going to move on to the, the shopkeeper and all that, but uh, I'd already told y'all that we'd do the, the traps real quick, so I thought we'd go ahead and knock that out first. So let me use my potions, equip my gear. And then there it's on the ground. So when we get into the landscape, it'll actually be, it'll impact the ground and then spawn where it should. It should be gone by now, shouldn't it? What happened? Oh. No spawn actor. Base spell. Base trap. Oh! Because <laughs> I forgot to hook the delay back up. One more test for good measure. I don't know if you saw it, but right there at the bottom it had that red line. That's the line trace. So yeah. Now our other traps are going to be a little bit different. Um, we're going to set it to where it'll... Uh, this is just to show you how the traps will work. And you should be gone by now, but you're not. worked the first time let's try that one more time So there it spawned, there it spawned, and I don't know what happened. Okay, well it's working now, so that's how you'll do the traps. You'll cast it out, and then have it spawn your other trap. <clears throat> When we get to the landscape, we'll actually be able to spawn it on the ground and then have it trigger when an enemy runs over it. I just did that that way for now just to show you how it's going to work. So 
I'm going to save real quick and then in the next one we'll start getting into the shopkeeper and the uh, the magic teacher and that's why I wanted to get to the landscape it's because this doesn't really register overlap events but we're going to set up our landscape to where it will be able to so, so I will see y'all in the next one bye bye